by Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly here. This this probably is actually an old sermon when it comes right down to it. Um, possibly a philosophy, but I, I suppose this is an old sermon. Life needs exciting bits. Life needs exciting bits. Now, Hollywood movies. We watch them, we love them. There we are in front of a big screen getting caught up in the adventures of the hero or the heroine. Our world lost off on a mystery of, of what's going on. And when it comes out, we invariably say, that's the best movie I've ever seen. Because <laughs> it's impressed us that much. And, um, and then we go back to the real world and we, as we come out of the movie theater and we, we order a Coca-Cola or maybe a Subway and we just munch down and get on with our rest of the life of them all and back home again. We're watching it on DVD at home and what a thrill. But Hollywood movies are not really the real world yet. Some dramas can approximate real life quite closely. Some dramas are, are potentially very accurate in how life really does work. Some are, probably most are uh, dramatized, want of a better word, quite a bit. But some of them approximate what people are really like, and what conversation they really use. Now, um, we can't offer a Hollywood fantasy for people to escape. I saw a comment once on Facebook. It was a, uh, probably had a picture of, of, of um, might have had a picture of uh, some sort of Lord of the Rings thing on it. And it was a statement, I'd, there's nothing I'd rather have than to escape with Gandalf and go off on an adventure. Or words to those effect. And that shows that there's, there's still a longing in the human heart for a sense of adventure in life, for something exciting to happen in their life, instead of all this boring and dull monotony. The nine to five grind, which can really get a stand. So life needs exciting. Now, um, I've, I've got an idea for potentially an exciting sort of bit. It's, it's already what, it's what we do already. It's the sort of like, uh, we already do these things as clubs and associations and holiday tours and things like that. But it's, um, it's, um, For example, I'll use an example, a medieval fantasy. You get involved with a 100 swords fighting club. And that's a thing here in Canberra. I think, I think it's called 100 swords. And uh, you tour around a bit. But what you could potentially do is, even though it's to a degree manufactured, you send people off on a bit of a real world role-playing game where you set up a quest or something or an adventure for people and they have to go to such and such a place maybe in Europe and go to these castles if you need permission for, from the owners and things to uh, recover certain jewels or certain special prizes as part of the game they, they call these there's a, there's a show um, was it, uh, on TV uh the one they run around the world, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but you sort of have have an adventure with your your adventuring team, I suppose. They they go off an adventure to find things in hidden locations. They get involved with these fighting combat simulation sort of games and they've got to win fair maidens' hearts or for, for men anyway. And 
you, you convolute, essentially, a whole escapade of an adventure in life, which which is a challenge in a sense for, for a person or a team to go through to uh, get some actual excitement out of life in a more grand sort of scale. Now, um, Hollywood movies, it's life and death, isn't it? Well, that's just a big screen. In these sorts of scenarios, fortunately, in the real world, it's a lot safer for us. Hundred Swords fighting is not exactly to the death, how is it? So, um, it's just that that's a potential scenario where you could create a sort of, and all sorts of other elements and ideas you could add into that. But what I'm saying is that with a, with a, a group of people who, who have a concern for people, who give a damn, and want to make this an exciting world, you could come up with adventure quests for that, or or a, or a science fiction sort of thing, or whatever genre that tickles your fancy. You could come up with some sort of role-playing thing or something in the real world, which gives a sense of excitement and wonder and thrill in life. And um, the better it's constructed, the more thought which goes into it, the more elaborate it is, more enjoyment and thrill and excitement there will be. So just thought I'd share that.